<laughs> At all shooters tactical in Woodbridge, not a flood, but a steady flow of gun buyers looking to stock up. Some in response to the Democratic takeover in Richmond come January. So I think that uh, a gun for Christmas, especially uh, for self-protection, I think it's a great gift. Republican firebrand Corey Stewart has repeatedly lost statewide races. <laughs> But he helped turn out more than 1,000 people last night in support of a measure declaring Prince William County a Second Amendment sanctuary. Stewart expects a lot of people will be buying guns for the holiday. Have you bought one for years past? Well, that's a secret. <laughs> I don't want her to watch Channel 9 and know what I'm going to buy her. Can I give a firearm to friends or family? The answer is yes. Gun rights lawyers say it is legal as long as you're giving the firearm to someone who is legally allowed to own one. It is a felony if they cannot and you have knowingly given them a firearm. But the lawyer also says it is smarter to give a gift card okay. and let the recipient yeah, go charge. through a background check. So I'm a concealed carry, my wife concealed carries. Uh, our Second Amendment is important to us. Democrat Vic Angry says he supports gun rights and took stock of the big turnout at the sanctuary county vote. But he also says there are limits. No, I don't think anyone needs to have an assault rifle. I'm, I, I'm sorry. I don't think anyone needs to have an assault rifle. But supporters estimate there are already 15 to 20 million of them in circulation in America. In Woodbridge, Bruce Lachey and WUSA 9. Come January, the Prince William County Board of Supervisors will also flip to Democratic control. And the new chairwoman is promising to immediately repeal the Republicans' gun sanctuary bill. You can read about the wave of counties and towns in Virginia that have voted to become so-called Second Amendment sanctuaries. That's at the WUSA 9 app or our website.